Are we rolling? Yes, we are. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Trinkshu Repair channel. As always, I'm Dan, and I've got a fun video for you today. We've got these Nokona Rodeo boots, which is something I've not done on the channel because they have got double stitched welts. So keep watching, see what it's all about. Okay, once again, welcome back guys. Hope you're all doing well. So let me tell you about the job. So we got these Nakona rodeo boots, or cowboy boots. Now we're doing a full rebuild on them. We're doing full leather soles. Um, now I've done cowboy boots before, but we've got double stitching on this welt. So that's something I haven't done before. It's typically regarded as quite challenging. So we're gonna have to see how it goes, but let's get started. Okay, so let's start taking them apart so we can start putting them back together. Some big old nails in these. Although these non coners are handmade, they're made very robustly, so they're quite tough to get apart. Now, what we've got here is a top sole and a mid sole. I'm going to leave the midsole in place, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And of course, cutting through this double row of stitching. It's only stitched down to the waist. Now usually we'd have wooden pegs, but they've opted for brass tacks in the waist here. We'll replace it like for like. Now the heel counter is plastic. That's come off. That's okay. We'll pop that back on. What I am going to do is keep the original sole aside just so I can measure up the stitches properly or the distance between the two rows and uh, and just so I can uh, recognize the pattern that they've done with the original tacks. Okay, so soles off and the reason we left the midsole on is, I'll show you, I'm gonna remove this layer of foam. There, yeah, it's padding. Okay, so that's your midsole with a recess inside for comfort. So we're going to fill that up with cork and then we can work at putting the sole on. So if there's one thing that's more time consuming than picking out a row of stitching, it's picking out two rows of stitching. All right guys, so I've got the cavity ready for the cork. Before I do that, I've uh, removed all the stitches and what I wanna do is take this opportunity to clean it, clean the welt specifically, because we're gonna put some nice white stitches on it and I really want it to pop so may as well just clean the whole boot now with some cleaning lotion and then get right in the welt there before we get the white stitches on. Now we can't forget, before the sole, we do need to get the heel counter 
back in place. Uh, and this is just glued and then some tacks through it, but I like to do a whole bunch of layers of glue because this can be really annoying if it starts to peel away. And of course we need to re-secure the shank as well. Especially on a rodeo boot like this with a high arch. Okay, so there's our boot prepped, ready for its new sole. So we've got to get some glue on it. Uh, and I'll show you the sole we're putting on because it's quite cool. We've got the Vibram Paroli. So of course you've got these rubber dots for grip. But what I like about it is uh, it gives the sole a little extra dimension without us having to put a full on design on it. So nice little touch. Right, so of course we've got to get glue on the shoe. I've already got one layer on. Now you see here I'm gluing the upper. It's on these radio boots, the waist section. The sole's going directly onto the upper, and that's why we put the brass tacks in it. And then, of course, we need to get glue on our sole. So, let's get sticky. All right, so once we've got two coats on the sole, I'm going to heat it up to activate the glue, and then get it on our boot. Okay, so now our Peroni sole is hotter than the sun. Glue's activated, we've got to get it on the sole. What we've got to be careful of is make sure we get our studs centered whilst also making the sole fit this square format of the toe. And covering the rest of the shoe once it's all the way back towards the heel. Okay, so we need to make sure we get the arch right. Okay, give him a good old whack. even pressure on it. Okay, cool, so just gonna get some last tacks in the heel section of the sole here, and then we can talk about trimming it up to shape. Just wanna be, I wanna be with you in the moonlight. Love a bit of ghost. Okay, cool, so soles on, things are starting to look sexy, guys. Got tacks in there. So what we've got to do now is just trim around the edge of the sole so it matches the shape of the boot. And can anyone notice the, uh, the new color I've got on the machine here? True fans of the channel will be able to figure out why we've done the machine this color. Let me know in the comments if you can figure it out. Uh, but moving on, what we're going to do is do our double stitching now. So I'll tell you what we've got to do. We've got to do two channels and then of course two lines of stitching, a shallow line and a deeper line of stitching on the machine. So it is a little bit challenging, but let's see what we can do.
Okay, so next step, so what we need to do differently on a double stitch of welt is to grab our old sole, grab our channeling tool and use it to marry it up and figure out how deep we need to set the grooving tool so we can get our grooves in the right place. So we're at our Victor outsole stitcher. Now to do the stitching, we've got white thread in top and bottom. That's so we get the nice white stitching on top. So what we've got to do is just have a little pray to the stitching gods and then just go gun ho table out of the way because I got right in the way of the whole operation. wet the leather to soften it before we hammer down the stitches and that just gets us a nice uniform finish after the stitches uh you know it does chew it up a little bit as it punches holes through it and we want it to look neat but we only use posh water mm -mm. and i'll be honest with you the real reason the water that we have here in stream that comes out the tap it's very chalky and that actually stains the leather a little bit. Is that a dinosaur outside? Okay, so all our stitching is pretty successful. So now what we're doing is just putting some brass tacks in the waist area, right? And sometimes this will be with pegs that go straight into the footbed. And the reason for this is just to give it some extra support as it's got that arch just to sort of solve moving anywhere. Okay, cool, so our radio boots are getting there. We've got the Paroli sole, double stitched on, brass waist tacks, heel tacks, and of course the uh, sexy double stitching on the top there. So now what we've got to do is just go around the edge, ink it, dress it, and then we can start looking at the heel and doing some uh, TLC on the uppers. Hello. Hiya. Oh, it smells so nice in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you can't smell it, I bet. No, I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they're insane. Are they what I think they are? They are <gasps> shoes. Lube, whatever. Lube Lube yeah. Can I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's your camera then? It is my camera. Are you nearly at one pro. million? No, I'm not at one million. Do you want to be on YouTube? Yeah. I'll keep your voice in the video. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so soles all done. The edges all finished up nicely. Uh, and I'm gonna jump straight ahead to the TLC portion because normally I put the heel and the heel block on now, but fully transparent. The heel I wanna put on, it's a kind of Ibram heel. I'm waiting for it to be delivered for my weekly order, but I wanted to crack on with this video today. So TLC, so really it's just a whole bunch of Sophia 1925 cream we got going on today. It's gonna to condition the leather, soften it, and give it a bit of life, a bit of color back. So on this red, we got loads of multicolored stitching on. So I'm just gonna go for neutral. This stuff really is great at just giving some moisture back to the fibers of the leather. And then of course, when we go down here, we need to address the different shades of browns. I think I'm gonna mix two colors together just to get exactly what I want. What I like about this Saphir 1925 cream is that some creams are a little thicker and have a lot of color in them. This is more liquidy, so it really just glides on subtly blends in with the original color. And the trick with cream is to leave it for about five, maybe even 10 minutes, just to cure, soak in, and then shine it up. All right, and then just a little bit of Parisian brown, this one's called, on the heel. Now the heel is discolored. It's a little scuffed here and there. So we do need to let this soak in and recolor the faded areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for our front portion of the uppers, I just want to mix a few different colors together. Experiments to kind of get just the right blend that I want. All right, let them all dry for a minute before we buff it off. Okay, so there's all the excess cream taken off, some nice color put in there. And we're just gonna put a very fine top layer of Pat Deluxe on neutral, just to give it a shine. So we've got a nice waxy finish. Now remember, if you want to grab any of these shoe care products, nourishing creams, polishes, brushes, you can find all of it at our online shop, which I'll pop just up here, dreamshoereverse.com. What you'll find is if you put wax on too thick, it gunks up and you can feel it spreading around rather than shining. So that's why thin layers are important. Okay, cool. There we go. Shiny as gold underpants. All right, guys, just taking a break, taking five. Just had the heels delivered so I can do the heels, but just been out, got myself a Cornish pasty. It's really dry. But I also wanted to tell you, it's really quiet in the shop today because here in the UK, we've got a really big windy storm called Storm Eunice. So everybody's staying indoors. God damn it, Eunice, you couldn't pack it in for just one day, could you? All right, so let's knock these heels together, guys. So a uh, little confession, and I'm really cheesed off actually, because I did say I had the heels delivered that I wanted, but they weren't delivered, they weren't in the box. Uh, so we're just using the Vibron California instead, you have seen me used, but that'll look quite nice once we've got brass tacks on it. And let's talk about the heel blocks. So we've got the original heel blocks. Something to note is that they're beveled on the inside, which is going to match the contour that we've got on the original shoe. So that's quite particular, you have to get that shape just right or else it doesn't fit flush and level. We've already got glue on the heel blocks, but it doesn't hurt to have a few coats. Hello.
God, I am cheesed off, guys. So the leather heel block, the stacked leather heel block is all coming apart in layers. So I've got to take it all apart, put it all back together again. Oh dear, so this video is gonna to have to carry on tomorrow. All right, so I'll just show you, this is the uh, putting the stacked heel block back together, loads of parts. Tedious, tedious job. So I'm not gonna show you everything, just for you might like to see what's going on. But for now, everyone's done. All right, so we can work out getting some brass tacks in the top lift. Wait till I get my money. Is that one open? Now, just while I'm doing tacks, actually, I'll show you. Uh, Ron got a new friend from a secret admirer called Daisy. So, uh, thank you very much, Daisy. Ron's been having a whale of a time. Okay, and that will just about do it. Okay, there we are, our Nakona Rodeo boots have had their full rebuild in the JR Paroli soles, the brass waist detailing, rub heels, and of course, the cool double stitching on the top and tidied up the uppers. So they look pretty jazzy, don't they? And with that, that is the end of the video. So uh, let me take my ear defenders off. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Uh, I had fun doing this video. And all, as always, if you made it all the way to the end, hit like, it really helps me with the channel and uh, tells YouTube what you enjoy watching. So uh, make sure to hit the notifications bell so you are kept in the loop for when I upload something new, especially if you're new to the channel. And remember two points, if you have a shoe repair that you want us to have a look at, do get in touch with us via the Facebook page or trinkshoerepairs.com and the contact form. And again, trinkshoerepairs.com is our online store if you need any shoe care products especially now that we are a Safir official stockist we have all the medal door range so now i gotta get out of here i've got to drive home slowly because i hear there's a lot of fallen trees in the road because of storm eunice but what i will leave you guys on is a lot of you will have seen that we're approaching 200k on the channel so that's gonna be another wicked milestone so i think i'm gonna do a la live q a so um, let me know if you'd be interested in that but for now thank you for joining me again and i'll catch you next time